Hi everyone, Senator Roger Reiner coming to you from the state capitol. Well, first off, I'm not in a suit, and that means that the 2013 legislative session has ended. Once session's over, I get the suit and tie, the jacket and tie off, and you probably won't see me in it again until we come back in 2014. Much more comfortable in shorts and a polo. So let's recap the session before I turn and burn and head north. A lot of good things, uh, increased funding in K-12 for ISD 709, that's over $50 per pupil for the next two years. Increased funding in higher education, both the Minsku and the University of Minnesota uh, system with the University of Minnesota system holding tuition flat for the next two years as part of that agreement. A bill I wrote uh, redid the local government aid formula and also increased local government aid. We know that that's a critical component of the city of Duluth's budget. So an additional almost $2 million per year for the next two years uh, to the city of Duluth. We also saw some legacy funding for both the Great Lakes Aquarium and also the Lake Superior Zoo. Uh, so a lot of good things there. But as I've said repeatedly now, uh, as the session has come to an end, it's really been a session of imperfect choices. And you know what I mean by that is we pay for those things out of a tax bill that I thought did some good things, but there's also a couple concerns in there. And probably the one that's most concerning to me as I head home is a new tax on warehousing. Generally, I've not been supportive of the business-to-business -business taxes in the first place because they tend to just be rolled down to consumers. But this one's especially concerning because of the Port of Duluth. Uh, most of the warehousing facilities in the Port of Duluth are right across the border in Superior as well. Uh, and with an additional tax on the Duluth side, it's going to really make a Superior a more attractive place uh, for these goods and services to flow. So going to be doing a lot of work in the interim to hopefully come back in 2014 and see if maybe that's not the best option for the legislature uh, to pursue. So as we wrap up and I head home, uh, what does the interim look like for me? I'll be doing some much needed time off during the summer just to try and figure out uh, me and my life again after five months of this kind of crazy schedule. I also make up a lot of time with the Navy that I'm not able to do uh, when the legislature is in session. And then of course I get ready for fall semester. Uh, Lake Superior College, we start the third week of August, so I need to get some prep time in there so my classes are ready to go teach through the fall semester. Uh, and then the really good news, at least for me personally, is in 2014 the legislature won't start again until February 25th. So that'll give me a nice break in between the fall semester and the start of the session to get a lot of things that I personally need, personally need done before we start up again. So as always, thank you for tuning in and being a part of the interaction here at the Capitol. So proud to represent Duluth, a community that pays attention and is engaged. Um, we'll do intermittent updates between now and the start of the next session. Uh, but if you have anything, please feel free to call the office uh, or shoot me an email. Uh, we're glad to help as best we can until the legislature starts up again. Thanks, everyone.